What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to overclock any NVIDIA RTX 20 and 30 series graphics cards. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So starting off, you guys are going to want to go down in the search bar below and type in GeForce Experience. Now, once you get here, you'll be met with the homepage. All you have to do is click on this little gear icon and we're going to go to the general tab. So to get this to work, you guys have to click Enable Experimental Features. So now once you've clicked that, you might have to download something. Um, for me, I already had everything up to date. And next, once that is all done and downloading, we are going to click on the NVIDIA overlay. So if you do not know how to do that, it is this little icon right in between the bell and the gear. You're going to click on that. So now from here, you're going to click on the performance, which this was something that was not originally there before. All you had was gallery, your microphone, your face cam, and the little gear icon. You're going to click on that. So now, as you can see inside here, you will be able to tune your graphics card to run as fast and as efficiently as it can. And so to do this, all you have to do is select enable automatic tuning. And then it'll say warning overclock your GPU may cause your PC to become unstable or show a visual artifact. And then from here, we are going to click agree and continue and now right now it is going to run an automatic overclock to tune your graphics card all right guys so i actually ended up going to my streaming pc to, sh to show you guys what this looks like so this is what it will look like as your card is tuning um and the reason why this is probably the safest option out of many options out there for overclocking is it is a software that was made for tuning and it is done by the people who make these chips. Now, I say that because every year you get your car serviced and you get your car tuned. And this is similar to your graphics card. So people have spent time to learn their graphics card and learn the best ways to overclock them, what to turn up and what to turn down. So over time, your graphics card is going to be slower and slower. Now, you can fix it by reapplying thermal paste, different shrouds, different fan cooling, because oftentimes your car just gets way too hot and it has to underperform. Now, I've also had times where I've had to underclock a card for it to run. And now, and that is usually because of artifacting or bad cooling. And the reason why that I think this is a great alternative to manual overclocking is because there's less user error. Now, obviously we did accept a waiver, which was the little prompt that came up uh, which had us exit or accept because it may cause artifacting and that is generally because your card will reach a high temp and you just burn your chip and what artifacting is is basically you're sending information to the graphics card but those cells that process those pixels are dead so when it sends it back to the screen it sends it back as these little dots and there's like little green blue they're all different colors so I was a little incorrect on my terming here but basically the memory inside of the graphics card start to fail. So what happens is you are sending information to the graphics card, but the memory isn't fast enough to read and write because there's damage on the card, which was referred to in the video as cells. So these cells are failing to read and write, which causes these light and colors to flash every time that you run a benchmark, play certain games, because oftentimes your computer will blue screen or crash. But in some cases, you get artifacting. And that is something that is common due to memory failure due to bad cooling. So that's why you see more people take apart their graphics card and apply proper and new thermal paste every two to four years. As I just put the new Arctic MX4 thermal paste on my 2080 Ti. Um, and you should expect temps to drop probably 5 to 20 degrees Celsius, which is very, very big considering most of these cards run insanely hot. So as you can see here, you can see all the information. You can see it running its test. And I just wanted to show you guys what it actually looked like while it's happening. This has been running for probably 10 minutes now. I would expect this to run for the next 10 to 20 minutes. And as you can see, our overclock has finished. Now, the reason why I said do not expect a lot of results out of this is because 
most of the time your card is already tuned. And so for me, I have a Zotac RTX 2080 Ti Amp Max. So it already comes with a factory overclock. So basically what that means is they tune the card and I purchased that tuned card. And this is similar to any other graphics card that has many makes. So for example, you can buy your Founders Edition GTX 1070, but then an EVGA makes a super clocked GTX 1070, which has a faster boost clock and core clock than your Founders Edition card. And this is similar to any other card out there. So as you can see, my result only got a plus 68 megahertz, which is nothing. It's nothing at all. And I will not ex really see anything different with this. I don't expect like 30 or 40 at five FPS in any game. Um, I know like a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm getting like 60 plus FPS after doing this. I'm going to say right now, that's very rare. At most, you'll probably get like 10 to 30 FPS, but even then 68 to like 200 megahertz is nothing is really really nothing most people clock their graphics card like three to upwards of like a thousand megahertz and that is all deemed to proper cooling um and overall you know what you're actually doing and that's overall the nice thing about this software it knows how to tune your graphics card and you cannot mess it up um obviously this does not work for every single card so if you have any rtx 20 series card and rtx 30 series card you can use the nvidia performance so that is how you automatically overclock your graphics card and with further ado that is it guys so thank you guys so much for watching sorry for not looking at the face cam a lot i'm just so used to looking at the screen um but that is how you automatically overclock your graphics card if you guys have any questions my twitter is aaron McGurk underscore you guys can catch me on twitch at twitch.tv slash aaron McGurk underscore and thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed, please comment, rate, and as always, subscribe. Bye, guys.